Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Heat Death Survival Train. It is, as far as I can tell, a combination between... Oh, are we on a ring world? Your stats, you can monitor your stats using the bars on the bottom left corner of the screen, blah blah blah. Either we're on a ring world, or there is a ring around the planet with kind of a biosphere on it. It looks to be a frozen over planet. Okay, anyway, what was, what was I going to say? Right, combination between uh, Raft and Snowpiercer. Oh, am I slower on the snow? I am slower on the snow. Good to know. Okay. Interesting. Sprinting is a toggle via shift. Looks a little choppy, but I saw this demo pop up, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, every city has its own power system. You need to activate the power generators and battery batteries. Then you can turn the power on. You can find them inside the control center building. Okay. So, I think the entire point of this is we we operate a train, go from kind of city to city, grab resources, keep alive, expand the train. And, yeah, that's kind of interesting. I'm curious to see where they go with it. I, I'm a huge sucker for anything Raft-themed. I absolutely adored... Uh, I adored the first couple hours, especially, of Raft. And so, anything that's even remotely close to similar, I'm like, ooh, shiny, I want to play it. Interact with some control panels. Do that. Just go up and interact to it with it. Okay. Connect connect to network. It looks like that one's on. Yeah, let's just keep following these objectives. I'm sure I'll have to find these on my own. Okay, that's on. And then turn on the power generator. You can save the game by using the body scanner. You'll find them inside stations in some of the buildings. Save game, reduce station power by 100. Okay. So that's something I gotta keep in mind. So how much power do we have left? Power online, current clear, next store, storm unknown. Alright, so what do we have? Well, unlock a blueprint. I guess I'm gonna go look, go look around and find some stuff. Fortunately, this game has got some pretty hefty mouse sensitivity. Storage key code. Hey, I managed to fix the storage room's door, but it was a hassle. Some wires are fried, and I had to replace them with spare parts. There's some useful stuff in there that might help us on our journey back. P.S. I had to change the key code because everyone knew the old one. The new key code is written below. Don't don't forget it, okay? Five, uh, 5011. Okay. Actually, I'm going to boost it up, and then I'm going to... Uh, let's see. Is it under here? Mouse sensitivity. Camera sensitivity. I'm going to drop it down to 10% and give me some more FOV. There we go. Eh, I can go a little bit further further down. I usually keep my mouse and my main mouse pretty sensitive, and so whenever a game's reasonably sensitive as well, uh, I usually end up just kind of zipping all over the place and being really uncomfortable about it, which makes it even worse for everybody else because you know, for me to experience it and then you guys to watch it, wildly different things. Okay, so what do we have? Open energy drink. Hey, right, take. Anything else? No, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go wander through loot stuff. For for a uh, a world that's functionally abandoned, it's uh pretty pristine. Do we have anything sneaking around back here? What is this thing? Whatever it is, I can't do anything with it. Locked storage. Oh right. That's uh, opened up. So we've got smart material, more material. Ah, T to take all. Makes my life easy. A little bit more smart material. Anything else? No, not really. So unless there's something hiding in one of these crates, but I don't think so. The game's kind of good at telling me what's interactable, what's not. I would love if I could actually freely loot and explore everything. Uh, let's go check this one out. Bind train. Yeah, that tracks. Uh, having played Fallout, Fallout 4 with some mods, I adored playing that game where I could specifically loot every single, uh, every single everything. Uh, and I could even, like, scrap whole storage containers and whatnot eventually. Uh, just by using some mods to give me ac access. Uh, give me the ability to, uh, yeah, just rip things apart. Uh, let's see. Lights. Now let's keep them on. Raj Ranger. Use Biogen to craft energy drinks, food, and first aid kits. 
I mean, mostly I'm here to just grab a little bit of everything. Icicle ammo. Can penetrate medium armor. Oh. So there's actually combat in this. Tomorrow's the day. We're leaving this place for good, but I have to admit I'm feeling a bit nervous. It's not going to be a walk in the park. We still have a long way to go. We have no idea what's out there and what threats we'll face, and we'll have to be ready for everything. It's especially going to be tough for me and Mia. We're the ones who have to watch over the others. I doubt I'll be able to sleep, will I? Yeah, so it seems like people may have just bailed. So what can we craft? Energy drinks. But it requires Shadow Breeze and material. I've probably got plenty of other stuff. Alright, I've probably got plenty of energy drinks already, so I don't think I need more. New home. Oh, so yeah, the world probably froze over and so everybody moved up to that bio ring. Leaving the main characters suspiciously uh, behind for some reason. These, like, these locations look really nice though. I know, I know it's kind of that like weird pristine sci-fi aesthetic that's almost like too clean. But something about it just has always vibed with me. I don't know how to de describe it. I think it's probably just from playing Mass Effects when I was younger. Just the idea of this, this like really clean semi-solar punk style sci-fi. Felt really good to me. So we're actually, we've run out of energy. I don't know what that's doing to me though. I can't actually tell you if it's doing anything or if my character is just fine. Anything to do with these TVs? No. I want to be able to rip everything to bits. Engineer tier 1 unlocked. Okay. Where's the door for habitat? Habitat 1? Habitat 2? I don't know. I feel like I should probably close these doors, but these places have been stripped pretty bare. I feel like it's kind of odd that the entrance is on this side, but whatever. You know, whoever the next sap is that finds this place is going to have an even worse time than I am. Things have been pretty peaceful lately, which is a rare thing in this world. It means we're not in constant danger of being attacked by drones or other threats, but sometimes it also means we're not having any action or excitement. I, all I've been doing the past few months is patrolling the lakeside for any signs of danger, and then returning back to the outpost. It's the same routine over and over again, and it's getting dull. Maybe I'm being too impatient. Maybe I'm just used to all of the amazing fights and missions I've had before. Maybe I should be thankful for what I have instead of wishing for what I don't. Maybe I should enjoy the peace while it lasts, because who knows what might happen next. But I can't help it. I'm a ranger after all. I live for adventure, for combat, for thrill. Uh, I live for loot. Do you have any? What are these weird things? I have no idea. Now, let's just keep looting everything that we possibly can. Nothing there. Little syringy bits. Nothing on that. Nothing on that. I do wish there was more stuff, but that might just be a me thing. I'm sure it'll probably scale up as we go along. Either that or our needs are actually shockingly low. I actually had a... tabletop RPG kind of like this in my head at some point. Where the players are effectively crewing a train going through... I think it was a straight-up zombie apocalypse, um, which I realize is kind of how Cabinary the Iron Fortress works, except for in that one they only had to like hop out of the train to grab supplies or other stuff. Um, but the entire idea of it is like you have these these trains that are armored and and reasonably difficult to assail. Um, maybe they're going through like a monorail system, so they're hard to reach. But the players would have to stop periodically. To get inside, uh, oh, I should be bunny hopping. Because the snow slows me down. But I think jumping gets rid of the moment momentum loss, maybe. Uh, but they'd have to, like, stop and do little dungeon crawls. Periodically for extra food and, and fuel and resources. And lore. Oh, there's that. There is, like, a small building back there. But there's also a drone. Scrapper. Oh. 
Scraper is a friendly drone that finds and scraps uh, finds scraps around the map and turns them into materials. If you follow them, you might discover new places for more materials. Inventory. Oh, okay. So it's telling me about that. So that that drone's friendly. I guess we should go find this train proper. Woo. Oh, T for power. I ran out of batteries. I was wondering why my electricity symbol was down. It's because I burned out my batteries on my flashlight. I'm a fool. You can see just a little bit of a speed boost while I'm in the air because I don't have friction on me. This is your train. Right now it's just an empty wet. It's a few empty wagons, but you'll be able to build whatever you need on it. Okay, so we need an engine to start moving. Build an engine. You need resources, blueprints. Cool. Resources and scavenging. Oh, there's another blueprint. Can't get more text, text crap. And we can also charge our batteries. Oh. Small battery required. Okay, so I can save here. There's some supplies. Another blueprint. Unlock ceiling? Okay, so we can craft screen, battery, other stuff. Which of these lets me modify my train? I have a lot of smart material. Oh, find engine component. One built. B? Ah, B. So, suit power. Locomotive. Engine tier one. Power. Defense. Chest. I'm just gonna... Can I put it outside? You can only build on your train. I'm gonna... Not enough sewer, suit power. Okay, can I just drop something? There. Ah! So that's how the batteries work. So we can charge them up here. Okay, so that's still charging, but now I can make some things. Build menu with B. Oh, I still have my flashlight on. Yeah, let's not waste it this time around. And, well, here's the question. Do we actually want to get walls? Yeah, let's, uh, let's actually go to the front of this train. Burp. Meh. Hold up. Oh, window corner. Yeah, let's just jam that there. Hopefully rotation, yeah, I don't think rotation matters that much. So what else do we have? Floor, multi-story builds, ceiling corners, stairs, doors, locomotive. I still need the engine component, engine screen, power dynamo. Manual power generator, but we need some other stuff. Uh, body scanner, but we got to find some things. I think I'm just going to put a basic chest in this corner. That way I can actually store some stuff. We'll do the energy drinks for now. Let's see. I guess we might as well actually store everything I have. I'll just come back to these. Or come back for these at a later date. Or not even a later date, just a little bit. Okay, charge the next one. I'm assuming this station probably has infinite power so I don't run out. Okay, looks like we got it all. Crafting, lock ceiling, unlocks... I wonder why you can open that up. Hopefully I don't... Didn't screw myself over by doing so. Alright, so we're looking for probably the engine component. I'm going to assume that's where the drone is. But it could be in this area, so let's check everything. Eh, no, that's the engine component. And we're finding the blueprints for the body scanner. Yeah, we'll check out we'll check out that other side room. 
This is actually pretty good. I, you never know with these games. Uh, I, I hate to say it, but uh, sometimes when these load up, I'm just kind of like, oh, is this going to just be an, oh my gosh, it's big. I think what I want to do. Max, oh, max build distance. Blessed be. I think I want to. Let's actually build the walls first. Just so I have, like, a decent idea. Not enough material. A decent idea where to put things. Because we're going to need an engine. I don't want to... I don't want to lock myself in here. And I could put the engine back one. Do we have anything else? D door. Not connected to structure. I see. Um, no, I think it's fine. I think we just need to get the engine down. Oh. Actually, we need to charge a small battery. There we go. Just use both of them. And make sure we don't leave without it. Locomotive, engine tier one. I think I'm just going to have it in the back, in the corner. Okay, engine control panels. Start engines and control your train. We also can craft resources, smart material and items, batteries using fabricators. Find them in stations. Okay, that isn't really blocking my way. It's a little messy, but it's fine. Okay, locomotive, engine screen. Control all engines. And then a power screen. We're going to need both of those, but I need more screens and... Smart material. Store all that icicle ammo. So I guess we gotta go fabricate some screens. Let's make both of them. Oh, I need more tech scrap. Okay, so we might just have to do without the power screen for the time being. Maybe. I think I'm just going to put this front and center. Okay, limited amount of power. To monitor it, monitor it, we need a power thing. Can I actually pick this up and move it? I don't want to scrap it. Uh, let's try scrapping it. Okay, it looks like we get everything. So let's... I'm going to rebuild it. Oh, we lose the power. That's the one thing. I'm just going to build that there. So, entire plan is we uh, have the power si power thing right next to it. Let's store the material for the time being and the smart material. Alright, are you done? Charge that. Let's go grab some more resources. There might be some more around here. I'll do one one last cursory glance before I leave. Let's let's go check that that one side room room uh, side facility all the way back up there. But uh, oh, there's also that that building that we didn't finish. Uh, often when I see games like this, there's always the question of like, is it just an asset flip or is it an actually good game? And so this is giving me uh, slight asset flip vibes, just looking at it in initially. I'm glad to say that was a false impression. Uh, I think it's just that that like really clean 3D models in a otherwise empty... Oh, this is the Shadow Breeze. So if I want to make energy drinks, I need the plant. Uh, oh, there's actually a couple of things up here. Cool. But yeah, it's just the, the 3D models in kind of a, a desolate environment usually puts me in the, like, oh, this might be bot assets vibe. But sometimes, like, you can make it work. It can actually look really nice, too. This constant daylight is torture. Yes, I can darken the windows, but it's not the same. It's still artificial, unnatural, and annoying. We don't have the luxury of day-night cycle here, but I have to endure it. It's ironic, really. We're living on a frozen planet, but we're stuck on the side that's always facing the glint. 
We're surrounded by ice and snow, but we're exposed to the glint's constant light. We're freezing and our eyes are burning at the same time. They put a lot of effort actually into the the writing logs. They could have actually they could have completely skipped those and I'd be none the wiser, but this feels good. I got to see if this guy's bringing resources back cuz that might actually come in handy. Okay, some materials. Let's see is there anything else here? Yes. Yeah, my flashlight burns my batteries, so I kind of want to avoid using it too much. Is there another one over there? I'll double check on the way out. Another energy drink. Which, honestly, we might as well quaff while we're here. Nothing. And fortunately, there's not a whole lot of loot. Seriously, one energy drink just for this dude? So this is where I wish I had like a wrench or something and I could start like scrapping the computers, bringing them with me. You need tech scrap, that's the way to do it. Okay. If there's anything else here, I'm not seeing it, which I, mm. I was hoping for more out of that one, but there is still that building, and we should be able to get rolling. Maybe find a different location. Uh, to go back to my tabletop RPG campaign idea, I mean, effectively, it would be like, you just have a bunch of, like, a big branching map uh, that is the, the paths the train can take and, and kind of like a destination. You know, maybe you're, you're going back to kind of a home base or something, and you're bringing back supplies and information news, parcels, people, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, you'd have these hand-designed dungeons that you stop at routinely for stuff. Uh, be it food, be it, you know, fuel for the train, be it survivors. And so it'd be kind of like a, I don't want to say a West Marches style campaign, um, because ultimately you wouldn't be improving kind of like a locale. You'd just be improving your mobile base. I, I guess you could do this with like a spaceship and it would actually almost make more sense. But the vibe would be different. If there's something up that. So we'll, um, let's go dump some of these things off. Change your batteries out. Store some things. Store all. Ah, we're running out of inventory space. That's honestly good. Build another one of these. Uh, other side? Yeah. Okay. And we'll have to make another view pane. But that can, that can wait a little bit. Ooh. The train could even be, like, only partial... Oh. Just instant teleportation up the ladder. Honestly, though, it saves me some time. And we get some materials. Anything else? Yes. Anything here? No. It does give me a good view of the surrounding area. There's something red over there, which is a little worrying. And then otherwise, I think we're golden. I gotta check if the control center... Oh, wait, no, the control center did have a second floor, but we knew about that already. We went up there. None of these other ones have a second floor. Apart from grabbing, well, honestly, more of that plant. Because now that I know this is how I make energy drinks, which is how my character keeps their stamina up, we might as well snag a bunch of it. We're going to have turbo scurvy, but we are going to be hopped up on everything. Eventually we get rescued and we're just jittering, vibrating so hard we're threatening to escape this, uh, this dimension and somewhere into the next. Alright, let's go finish the train off. I don't know if I need to make it weatherproof or anything, but I might as well somewhat try. 
Okay, so we want to store all. Let's take the materials back. Oh, wow, we had a lot. Store the Shadow Breeze. Okay, what about over here? Tech Scrap we want to take back. Smart Material. Small Batteries. And more Material Material. Okay. Let's see if I can make the last of the view panes. Oh, we might also want to check the Scrapper Bot, see if it's got anything else for me. Power screen. Right. We need to make a screen. Looks like we had just enough. Oh. Let's go over here. We can unlock the gate. There we go. Yeah, let's see if the bot routinely brings resources back, because this might be something to keep in mind. It does. Tons of it, in fact. Okay. That's kind of good, bad, because now my inventory is full. But that does mean that we can routinely find these things and hopefully uh, get resources off of them. Okay. Walls and windows. They all just use two material. Okay. Let's, let's have the front of my frame be just windows so I can actually see what I'm doing. Oh. I need some smart material. Really? Might be able to make more. Let's uh leave it for a bit. If I just have to have an open door for the time being, so be it. Or I do need that smart material. Smart material. Oh, just requires regular material. So let's let's actually fabricate another one. I don't know how long we have until this thing runs out of juice, but I might as well use it for all it's worth while we're here. Let's see. Other thing I can do. Others. Chests. Oh, does require smart material. That's probably why we're low on it. Okay. Do we actually care about the door? Let's start with the power screen. Okay. Walls, windows, and ceilings will keep you warm. Build them on your train to survive the storms. Walls have two sides, white and dark. White side should face the inside of your train, building narrow arrow points inwards. And we're now a train engineer. Oh boy, that's some responsibility. Well, windows are cheaper than walls. So I think we're going to use a lot of windows. Let's get a door, though. Okay, window corner. Ow. There we go. Do I go get a second door? Uh... Wait, how did I... How did I go into scrapping mode? Locked. Uh, wait, what did I do? Key bindings. Scrap. V. Yeah. Considering I have a bunch of materials, let's... Let's actually put a door on both sides, just so I can get in and off freely. Just in the off chance that um, we have to enter quickly from one side or the other. There we go. I I bet that bot's just going to come back routinely. And dump stuff off there. I, I'm not going to wait around for it. But I might as well exploit its um, usefulness while I'm here. A second one of those. Right. And I should also be charging my batteries. Because once again, this one seems to have unlimited power. Okay. Second door. Uh, 
Okay. And then let's... Oh, the floors are huge. I was worried that I'd be spending a lot of resources just to be able to get this down. Oh, not enough material. Fine, I should have a bunch, yeah? No. Well, I mean, option A... We just try and make do. I'm going to need... Four, six... Okay. Two, four, six... Am I going to need, what, 14? 14 actual material to make make this complete. Option A, we could actually rip some things up and move it around. Um, so I could actually put one of these doors here so I live in a, a much smaller enclosed space temporarily. That's not a bad idea, actually. But I'm going to need some more power. They routinely come by cycle of batteries. Not enough material. Don't quite have enough. I mean, we could keep cannibalizing things on the back. Or we could see if the uh, scrapper bots come back with more. Two at a time. Ouch. Yeah. I think we'll just uh, get rid of some of the back half. Oh yeah, we've got these doors. That we don't need. Okay. Let's just do a floor there. And I'm going to scrap this door. Scrap that door. Welcome to... The... Jank train. I mean, yeah, it's probably fine. We can just live in an, a small enclosed box. And then I can come and go out of this. Hopefully this counts as functional shelter. Uh, and we'll scale things up as we go along. Almost left without my batteries. Uh, let's take the used batteries. Do we just chill for a bit while we wait for them to... Charge? Yeah. Shoot, I might as well just... I might as well just charge everything. Alright. I We've got every battery. I don't think there's anything left over. I guess I'm going to do one quick check of this building because I wasn't that thorough on it. And we'll go grab whatever materials are left from the scrapper bot. I kind of wish I could bring the scrapper bot with me. Just send the little dude out every every once in a while. I'm pretty sure that's empty. Yeah. And that's that's nothing. Yeah, so unless there's a resource cache I don't know about hiding somewhere, I think we're good. It took me a little while to get rolling here, but um I'm gonna check this building real quick too. Just in case. Cause he already got that one. And there's nothing else in here. Yeah, I it, it took a little bit to get rolling, but on the flip side, now I know, and we can get five more material for it. Yeah. I like being material efficient, and hopefully this gets us to the point where we can actually start uh, enclosing the whole train car. It'd be interesting if, rather than a long train, I could do a tall train. That could be funny. Alright, so we have engine, state, throttle, velocity, mass. Power 400. Oh, so we are actually gaining some amount of power. We don't need anything else. Engine's turning on. Let's get rolling. I don't... Oh. Actually. I don't know what minus means. The bot just came back. 
I know I know we just got started, and I know I just checked, but if he just came back, then he dropped off one materia. Okay, that's not super worth it. But it's enough. Okay, set that up, and keep it rolling. Let's just get our velocity up. And while that's going... Let's, uh... I think I'm probably just gonna build more of these. Whenever I have the materials for it. Currently, I don't think there's much else I can do. We're gonna have to periodically stop due to a lack of power, but I think that's fine. Kind of cozy, actually. Storm and weather forecast. Storm is coming and temperature will drop significantly. During storms, it's better to be indoors. You can also check the forecast inside the control center's main room. Well, not much I can do about that, but it looks like we've got a uh, we've got another couple of things over there. Yeah, I gotta keep my eye out just in case there's like weird structures in the periphery. I'm not betting on there being too much, but there might. I still think, from a, a weird perspective, I could very much see this being a stupid... Oh, there is stuff over there. It looks like we're curving there, though. Yeah, we're crossing that bridge next. I still think you could probably have zombies in a game like this, and it actually would be kind of sweet. Yeah, that's where we were. Looks like we'll have just enough... We'll have just enough power to reach this section. I'll stop. I don't know, you could have just like some basic guns keep the um, zombies off of you specifically, or you and uh, keep off of your train specifically. I, I don't think this needs to be on this game necessarily, but maybe another one. I know there are going to be enemies, so maybe I'll get my wish. I think it's going to be mostly your like drone robots and whatnot. I can't tell. It's gotten dark, but that might just because might be because of the location of the sun. Okay, so that's power, that's station. Okay, it does look like the weather's kind of bad. But I think it can just be inside these. Body scanner unlocked. Oh yeah, I should have done that earlier. Okay, capacity is bad, so we want to be kind of selective about what we do. Generator, disconnect, okay, battery control, generator info, and that's just nothing. So once this, this thing's out of juice, we can't do anything about it. So I gotta be very selective about what I pick and how. Yeah, so saving's gonna be kind of pricey. Fabricating stuff is gonna be pricey. Icicle? There's a blueprint for icicles. Yeah, you can tell I'm starting to freeze over just a little bit when I'm out there, so I, I shouldn't spend too much time. Oh, can soup. Eat. So our character isn't just going to be drinking energy drinks this entire time. That's nice. Also a first aid kit. Alright, that's ominous. I received a message from Lena today. It said the train's on its way and will arrive tomorrow. They'll pick me up around 6, so I should be, able to, uh, should be ready to leave then. Yesterday I encountered a few scout drones. Took them out. I don't think they've been wander wandering here. All by themselves. We should be careful. Okay, we also have this. Icicle ammo. Oh, icicle is in the gun. Okay, there's another... Another thing over here. Storage. 
Okay, so I think even being under a roof is kind of enough. You are freezing, losing stamina at a much higher rate. there's anything else there. So now I think we just go back and chill inside. Oh, we do actually have a drum port. And yeah, there's that up there. There's not much I can do at the moment except for wait for the storm to blow over. Uh, let's see, stairs. Like I could expand some things. Dynamo. Manual power generator. But I need mechanical parts, smart materials, and tech scrap. I think we are going to want one though. Let's see. Let's just do store all. Oh, let's let's not store our batteries though. And I've got 14 materials. So to some degree what I can do is hang out here. Oh, that's floor corner. There we go. It looks like I'm not considered exposed to the elements when I'm under a roof, but I think it may have also passed on. So let's go check that upper area while it's clear. I'm just going to leave that. That's got materials, but whatever the robot is, is it's going to keep bringing resources back, unless it's been disabled, at which point, I don't know. Not much I can do about it. Should probably also take a moment to use the elevation just to look around, see if there's anything useful. Oh, this facility may also have its own power generation. Not much. But it might not be a bad idea to uh, charge my batteries. It is giving me gun blueprints though, which gives me vibes that I might need to worry about. I guess we can also save, too. Okay, smart material. Anything else? No. Okay. Well, unless there's something sneaky hiding somewhere where I don't see it, I think it's just time for me to go. Yeah, so let's, let's run back down. Let's check the... Um, Power network, see if it's gaining. And then recharge all of whatever stuff I have left. I'm curious what those red gates are. That might actually be like a, a barrier that I have to disable. I guess we might as well grab the plants too. Give me some more um, energy drink materials. Not that I'm spending too much time out here. Okay, so power. Max capacity, production, uh, 100 a minute. Okay, cool. So we are, in fact, uh, we are, are in fact, able to use these facilities for more. They're not just going to run out most of the time. Let's use both of these. Charge that up. I'm going to go drop some things off. We might want to make some more of these at some point. How expensive is it? Z Probably worth it. The problem is, I have a lot. And I'm not entirely convinced I'm gonna need more. At least not for this video. So let's, let's, let's stop grabbing uh, ridiculous amounts of food. Yeah, I haven't seen the bot go by, so I'll keep an eye out a little bit longer, see if it goes anywhere, but this might be one of those where it had a scrapper bot with a big emphasis on had. Uh, let's see. I think it was Anna that had this. Charge the other battery. Could grab the other one, but I don't think so. So let's just go into the station, save, and then continue on our way. I don't think there's much reason for me to be overly 
aggressive about these things, unless we want to grab the mechanical parts. I think we do, actually. Because if I can, if I can have mechanical parts, uh, we can build a dynamo. So we'll need more smart materials, and I think I have enough, um... Let's see. I think I have enough for the train. Uh, but if I have a dynamo, I can potentially build a power cha power charger in my own train. And a saver and some other stuff. Oh, I have to use the batteries. Uh, okay. I guess I should stop hoarding them like a weird... Uh, hoarding batteries like a weirdo then. I feel like it should be allowed... Or... You should be allowed to make anything with either used or unused batteries. Okay, so we have smart materials. We do have some tech scrap. Grab these. Okay. So we want to make power. Dynamo. Ah, the mechanical parts, of course. There's a one, there's a two. That's going to take a little bit more time, but it should be fine. And that's just showing where I am on the map. I could also see, see this being a lot of fun with multiplayer. I don't actually know if that's planned or not. But I personally hope so. Okay, so if we do power, dynamo, yep, we can just make it. Only build on your train. Yes. Okay, um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna build the dynamo right here. Yeah, train power is full. You know what? Let's move it over just a little bit more. There. So now I can power the, the train freely if I need to. I think the power, or the train does charge itself back up again slowly over time. So what else do we have? Yeah, solar panel panels give us power per second. Oh, icicle is a cannon. So it goes on top. What else do we have? Others, body scanner. But that's for saving. Outdoor light, small outdoor light, fabricators. Oh, oh the battery chargers even in the full version. Oh, there is a scrapper. That's going that direction. I guess let's charge... Uh, do we charge one more battery? No. I think I'll just pick this one up. Because I only really need, like, two batteries, give or take. Alright, let's, uh... Let's be lazy. Much as I want materials... I don't want to spend forever on this. Oh, it's a maglev! I didn't even notice that. Yeah, let's get a little bit closer so I can, so I don't have to walk nearly as far. It's not that I'm like painfully slow, but it is not the most exciting walking to and from. There's got to be something there. Well, let's go find out. Oh, how's my inventory? I got 15 slots. I should have no problem picking all of this stuff up. Unless the bot went up that ridge. It's probably up here. Where the heck did it go? Uh-oh. Yep, there it is. Yeah, shame about whatever materials it's going to bring back with it, but... There is something. A, a chest of a variety. I do like that system. Keep an eye out for the scrapper bot. There's a hunk of goodies. You don't know what, what the goodies are. But it's always kind of worth pursuing unless you're so loaded that there's no point in grabbing them. Okay, so four materials and smart material. I don't know if it's really worth going out of my way for. But 
it's nice. It, one thing I'm appreciating about this immediately is rather than the raft or void train version, uh, or pretty much every other raft like, there's not a constant like, oh, there's a barrel, there's plastic floating by, go grab it, and you're constantly just being beset on all sides by distractions. This is much more like, stop at a location, loot it, move on. It does kind of have this desolate to it, but I think it's part of the game's vibe and works really well. And also the environment looks nice. They could have just had like a really generic looking TerraGen world. And like, it does kind of feel like that when you're, whoa, that was weird. It does have kind of a, a bit of a terrain generated feel. Uh, when you're just interacting with, like, the, the couple of things nearby. Okay, let's just, uh, let's start storing some of these, these batteries, just so we can potentially turn them into tech scrap if I need to. Uh, I don't know how many we're gonna have. Is it worth having this on Throttle 3? Let's go down to Throttle 2. Throttle 2 is, okay, so it goes up by 70. So actually, it is worth it. It drains faster, but we get there faster. And yeah, you gotta wonder if there's stuff, like, up in there. There probably is, but also this is a demo. Okay, this looks like I might have to do something about. I get the distinct feeling I'm gonna have to cross. Under lockdown. And my bonk. Hopefully this doesn't do damage to it. Okay, good. Soft little oomph. Alright, let's uh drink an energy drink just to top off. I've just got my batteries. Eh, let's put like a couple of them away. I think I only need like three on me. Let's go to the other side and see what it's got for me. I kind of wish the lockdown was actually on the other side of the... Um, other side of the facility so I wouldn't have to run as far. But I guess here's a question. Can I run through the barricade? I can. So it's not an impediment to me. Locked control center. These are the characters. ED... Workstation. There's the control center. And there's the scrapper bot in the back. Possibly two? Alright, so what do you got for me? New blueprint for the icicle, so now we have our cannon. Standard stuff. What is this? This is just the station station. That's the workstation. Small battery. Couple of these. Indoor lights. I don't see. I'm to see a control station for this. I've changed the control center's key code. Don't forget it, and please don't share it. 6718. And a weapon chip. Ooh. Oh, is it? Do I actually want to close the door? Maybe it's just cold in here. Hopefully it's not too much of a problem, or it's just warning me about the weather. I guess we're not freezing over, so I think we're fine. Okay, so that's the control center. Let's just run across over to the storage. We'll start freezing over a little bit. I don't think it's too much of a problem. And some materials. Alright, anything else? No. 
Next one. Yes. I don't remember it. Data logs. 6718. Okay, so that hurts. Don't do that. State blocked. Disconnect from network. Power online. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. This is the generator. It's blocked because it's cold out. Go figure. Well, unfortunately for me, I think I'm just going to have to stand here and wait. At the door. So what did I need to build the icicle? We need more mechanical parts. Yeah. Hopefully it can build like a parka or something. Just keep the weather off of me. Huh. The one problem I have with these storms is there's not really much to do. It mostly just punishes you for doing anything. And so like, I love the idea of having to worry about the weather. I think the only immediate issue is just that there's no point in worrying about it. Or there's... There's no point in it. It just forces me to sit there and do nothing for a while. Ooh, I should have brought an energy drink with me. Think it's going away? Hopefully it's going away soon. I'm a little low on stamina, but there's no way I can make the trip across. And maybe this is actually kind of the risk to punish you for being ill-prepared. Um... And, and maybe this is just like a, a one of those like personal gripe situations the idea of like I don't like it when, I don't like it when games make me do nothing uh, because then I'm just sitting there doing nothing all right forward we haven't been into Ethan's place yet and he might have snacks for me Well, at the very least, there's extra batteries. Yes, energy drink. Some icicle ammo. Another small battery. Battery charger. And nothing else. I almost feel like this is one of those situations where you should be able to, like, sit down and just chill. To say, well, the weather outside is frightful, so let's just wait until it's not. Which, I mean, I guess I guess it could do. Or, uh, mm, eh. Like, I'm gonna say we could just end the video here. Much as I feels like I've barely done anything yet, I think this is kind of what the game is. Explore, grab stuff, don't overextend, don't freeze, but also go kind of fast so you're not... Uh, Uh, go kind of fast so you don't run out of resources along the way. Boy, this storm's actually been going for a while. Oh, it's clearing, finally. Uh, not quite yet. It looks like it's clearing. But it's still cold enough that it's going to freeze my character over. Yeah, you can see it on the edges. So, alas. Anyway, if you guys want to play... Uh, God. Unfortunately, the game's... There we go. Heat Death. Heat tr heat Death Train Survivor? A uh, survival train. There we go. Brain. Uh, if you want to play this yourselves, uh, the game ain't out yet. It's currently still kind of like in a demo beta state. It says it's going to be coming out in 2024. Uh, so who knows exactly when that's going to be. It seems pretty far along as far as the base mechanics go. So it's just a matter of, uh, you know, polish and expansion. I like what I'm seeing purely in terms of like it's it's kind of fun to have a mobile base that you're going from uh, supply spot to supply spot. Uh, I guess almost the easiest way I could describe it is if um, if you had like a 
a mobile roving, like, well, I mean, if you were going through Seven Days to Die, but with a train that is both your base, your shelter, and your primary mode of combat. So I almost wonder if eventually we're going to have to worry about... Uh, I mean, we're going to definitely have to worry about enemies attacking me, but I wonder if I'm going to have to worry about... I'm going to need some mechanical parts. Let's uh grab all my tech scrap and a lot of my smart material. Oh, that's max ca that's max cap. Oh boy. I do have a lot of materials, so I guess we could restructure my train finally. Okay, and it looks like there might be two drones with materials here, which is wild. We're going to leave the train there. I'm going to go put a gun on its on its rear. All I need is some mech parts. Anything else here? I guess the one thing I could make is like some more energy drinks. Uh, I should probably quaff. I think we can leave that for later. Okay. Anything else? No, I don't think so. Yeah, there's two of these. So there's... There's something down the back there. And there's one off to the left, too. Okay, that's dynamo defense. Nope, looks like we can get the icicle. I'm just gonna put it far back as I can. Okay. Oh. Oh. That's how that works. Okay. Is this thing just full? Okay, it's not full full. Move over the tech scrap. Some of this stuff. Uh, this one's full. Of nothing but shadow breeze and materials. And this one's getting there. Store a little bit more, store a couple of batteries. Oh, inventory space is insufficient. I guess, actually... Drink both of those. Next place we get to, we're making energy drinks. Or maybe this one. I, I don't know. It does feel like I don't need as many materials anymore. Which is probably for the best. Now, this one might not have any goodies for me. Pretty, though. But yeah, it looks like this is this is just a material farm, nothing more. So I'll check the other side, see if there's anything around that edge. And if there's not, so be it. We'll just uh, call it here. Yeah, I like this. I think this is going to be kind of a, a chill little uh, survival base builder, mobile exploration. Like it, It's got elements of Raft, it's got elements of Subnautica, it's got elements of who knows what else. And I think that creates an interesting combination. I'd love to see uh, a little bit more fully featured exploration. Um, things that go further and have more reason for you to specifically explore them in different ways. Oh, we have ice physics here. That's funny. Funds me god stuff here, but unfortunately the cliffs are too tall. My suit's power is low and the other... Uh, and another storm's coming. I'm going to look around and find shelter. If you read this and I'm not here, please look around for me, or at least my stuff. Oh, we have an energy drink. They can't possibly for be further out here. Can they? I have no idea. Well, one way or another. I think this is a good stopping point. I could go looking for it, but I think I'll come back to this when this game is done. Uh... Yeah, I think it's cool. I'm I'm curious to see where they go with this, and uh, it feels like there's a lot of interesting, just generalized potential with it, uh, between the the base building elements, the exploration. I think I just want more than small little dome pods. I would definitely adore having overall deeper. Um... Oh, can I? Can I not? Am I trapped too? think I yeah I can't get up this 
This might actually just be a weird death trap. <laughs> uh, is what it is. All right. Anyway. Uh, geez. I'll, I'll look around a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I look forward to trying some more of this when it comes out. And hopefully, hopefully it just has some like bigger facilities, like full on vaults and whatnot that I can go into. Because I think that's all the game really needs to to sing and to stand out. Uh, I'm curious about how the combat works. I'm a little worried that it is going to be primarily. Oh, I don't know where the person is, but I, I know how to get back up. The one box that can move is meant to, to be shoved over. It is a death trap. If you're not paying attention, and I wasn't. I feel like there needs to be a kick button. Okay, this should work. This is really goofy. Oh. You got a bit of a speed boost. Yeah, so if I bump into it repeatedly, it goes faster. Okay, here we go. Should work. And we're out. Sick. I knew I could do it. Watch me get stuck up here, too. If there's another person there, or if there's a person out there, I don't, I don't think I'm going to go find them immediately. I don't think I really care. Uh, anyway, I guess with all that said, if you guys like, well, if you want to play this uh, demo yourselves, it's just available on Steam right now. So just follow the link in the description below. And otherwise, if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Holy, that's a lot of materials. Way more than I probably need. Let's go make an energy drink. Well, I say that, but I'm going to go save. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.